right, today we're going to show you some cost saving way to do your own gray blankets because gray blankets can be very expensive nowadays. <clears throat> I bought, especially if you have to buy more than one. In my case, I had to buy two and they could be very, very expensive. So I went to my local nursery, bought two blank gray blankets and I'm going to decorate them myself. <clears throat> First of all, I um, want to have ribbon going from corner to corner. So what you do is you make like an X. And then in the center, you want to cut a hole. And then here's your bow. Now I've already pre-made my bow. If you go to the person who is filming this, his, subscribe to his, his site. I have a film on there that shows you how to make a bow. It's how to make a Christmas bow. So just to subscribe and you can get all of our information right off from there. Now, as you see in the center, they've got like a little hook so you can use the bow. And if you want any type of a script, most nurseries or floors will sell you the script. This one says mom. And I dropped it. I want it to go to my left, so I'm going to wire it in to the bow, just like I did the bottom, twist it, and now I'm going to bring it through the hoop, Now I've got my script out that says mom. My ribbons are all out. Get them to the corners where I want them. <clears throat> now what you do is you just take, this is called paddle spool wire. Real thin, you can get it in different grades. You might want to use the thinner ones for this. You crunch the ribbon. Take a piece of wire, twist it, and then just wrap it. Now, in this case, I used ribbon that had wire edging to it, so you can bend the ribbons up and shape them however you want to. If you don't like the wire, you can just buy the plain ribbon. to be a little puffy so I'm going to push it back a little bit and this is real simple to do anybody can do this you don't have to be a florist or an artist you just have to be somebody who likes to enjoy doing some sort of craft work Like I said, these have got wires in them, so see I can bend them to any shape that I want. The ribbon is on. Now I'm ready to decorate. And you can use anything to decorate. Any type of personal items you like. We're going to start off with by some pine cones. The larger ones are better for something this large. But you can use different shapes. And you can use as many or as less of them as you want. You just put them on sporadically. I, as you can see, I've taken a piece of wire and wrapped it around the pine cone, twisted it, and doing the same thing as I did to the ribbons. That way, you make sure they stay on. <clears throat> I'm 
Uh, next we're going to put a little bit of some poinsettias on here. Now I left them long stems. I just cut them right off of my bush that you can buy at any retail store. And they're all different shapes and sizes and prices so you can choose on how much you want to spend or how less you want to spend or how much you can afford to spend I should say. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking them and wrapping them around the stem just like you did with the wire but you're just using this and it makes them stay on. And you just put them on, you know, here and there, just to give it some color and some Christmas theme to it. And then I always try to run one down underneath my bow. Oh, that went right through the hoop, so there I can put that right there. Now you're seeing the poinsettias. Now we're going to get a little bit more fancier and add some holly, just to give it some color. What's any type of Christmas decoration without holly? Once again, I'm just wrapping it, leaving the stems on it. first and we'll move in oh, that one broke on me Once again, we can take this and put it down through the hoop. We got all the holly on here. As you can see, it's starting to look really nice. Now you can just put on your own personal touches. I found these at a local Walmart. It's got a little snap on it, so I just take it right down to the bow, snap her right in, and there she is. Now, if you want to get personal, you can take some old items of theirs from Christmas past. Here I got three of the old fashioned Christmas ornaments. And I'm just going to place them around the bow to add a little bit of a personal touch. And there you have it. Now doing it this way, with the cost of a blank gray blanket, I just went to a local store and bought the pine cones in a bag that I could use for more than one. The same, I bought one big bush of poinsettias, 
bought the birds. One bolt of ribbon did both of these for both of these gray blankets. And I've spent a total of about $27 for this. Now, if you go to a local shop, they would charge you anywhere from about $49 to $69. So now I just showed you a way to get two for the price of one. As you look down here now, here's the matching one. And there you have it. Hope you enjoy.